Long story short, I dropped the rear end off in my last video, I think, and uh, it was a week after Thanksgiving. You saw it. 10 volts for the 10 volt. Saw it. Tighten down. I'm going to let it sit for an hour, come back, saw, print, drop, torque it down, saw. whatever I find on Google. First thing I find on a search that tells me what the torque is down to. Now, I don't know if some of you watch uh, my buddy Chris Fix Roof Coop. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, so he's built a 1927 Model T rat rod. Yes, sir. Um, he just put a 10 bolt in the back of it, except uh, he broke one of them. Mm -hmm. And he tried to drill it out. Mm -hmm. Broke the easy out. Terrible. Tried to weld a nut to it, but mm -hmm. that didn't work. So he left it. He's like, screw it. So, unlike him, um, we have all 10 because we're not a bunch of hacks. What? Because we're not a bunch of hacks. 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 So, I'm just messing with you. It'll be fine. Call me a hack. Prick. Get that thing fixed. being a sloppy surgeon trab not all of us saw how everyone does it all the time like you do some of us have different ways of doing things trav but let me tell you mr. ten bolt tell you a little secret you're not the only one It has a 10 bolt because I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Welcome back to the Fixed Roof Coop channel. Hope you enjoyed the intro. Have a little fun with my friend Trap. Been down and out for a week or so, but we got some catching up to do. Let's go. So today what I'm attempting to do is get this dash panel off. That way I have a little bit more room underneath the cowl here to start welding in my subfloors. No, I have not put my tabs yet. I really want to get this open, kind of get some bracketry made, and then get this thing squared up to where I want it to sit actually on the frame. Everything here, these bolts are all rusted. This is the only screw that came out. The rest of them, I had to drill every single one of them else out, which is fine because I might sandblast this and clean this up really good or get another one and do something. I want to fix that hole there, like I've said before, but we're going to keep working on this. I had gotten this trim out, which has the little bracket for the window to swing out. It's going to drill out. I think it's four screws there. That should pull out, and then I should be able to get this whole dash panel out. This thing's been a royal pain in the ass, but I finally got it. I get this trim out and bend it a little bit. It's got some old bolts in here. We have to drill out, re-tap, or get some self-tappers. But coming out. I think I can, right? Oh, there it is. That's it. All right, she's out. What an absolute pain. Right off all these things. These holes, I'm just going to put bolts through. And then I got to figure out how to clean up. Hang on, maybe I have a camera. So this is out. As you can see, original dash here. Somebody butchered this all up. I do see pictures and videos of some sort of gauge here originally. Don't know what it's to. But maybe I can get a nice 
nicer one. Or maybe I can get something else to fit in this car. Who knows? Maybe something from a different car. After all, we're building our own car, right? So these obviously haven't been out in 100 years. So I'm going to have to grind those flat, re-drill those out. Maybe I'll tap them. Same thing with this here. That's destroyed. I was trying to get this part separated with the air hammer, not realizing it. This actually just slides on here. So these go on first, and then the dash slides over, I found out. And I kind of messed up this portion of this here. But I think I'll be able to straighten that out. If not, I'll just cut that part off and just put it back in so it holds a window in. I don't really care. It's not like it's got to be air or wind tight. But now, we have a little bit more room to be able to focus on building the support for the steering column. I have decided I was gonna go with a Mopar, like Coronet, Dodge Coronet uh, steering box, which essentially would have went right here in this area and been able to give me a cowl steering. I still might, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just actually going to order um, the reverse Corvair box and then figure my pedal setup rather soon. I ordered a whole bunch of other things that are on their way in. I did order the below uh, brake kit, the below the floor, but the downfall is with the shifter linkage for the four speed, it wouldn't fit in here. And by the time it did fit, it put the master around here. I think that was originally designed for a car that sat up higher, an automatic transmission, and it pretty much sat right here. It's the one that these kits come with if you were to order a complete kit car, which I didn't. But, so it was here and there, and then the pedal came up, and it had a huge swing. And by the time you would decompress the pedal, it would be outside the firewall. So we know right there that's not going to work. So I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not sure if the reverse Corvair with where the steering column is going to go out because the box mounts to the frame rail. The steering column is roughly going to be here. It's going to go straight down and over. If that's going to give me enough for a brake and a clutch pedal, that's why I'm wondering, do I get the Mopar one that's set somewhere in this area here? That way I can mount my steering, sh steering right here. And I literally just need a shaft that goes probably at like a 30 or 20 degree angle down to the actual box. And I only need to get some three quarter inch double D or three inch tubing welded together with some joints and that gives me this whole area right here essentially to have my brake system which is what I might do I'm thinking single pedal clutch and then a dual pedal floor mount like a, a Willwood brake and then for a gas pedal I was at the junkyard yesterday and I scooped a second gen Camaro gas pedal which comes with the bracketry and that but i don't know if i'm gonna need it but this should essentially work just well for me probably end up having to mount it in uh some area around here i don't know on the firewall or make a bracket off the transmission or something but figure it out all right so now that the dashboard is off i'm gonna clean up a little bit because i hate kneeling on especially metal shavings and drilling get the body lined up to where I want it to be mounted permanently. And then we're going to start with welding these tabs finally to the frame. I know in the last video I said I was going to start doing that, but I was kind of under the weather when I recorded that. So that was just to get the uh, editing done to get a video out there for you guys to watch. So let's clean up and we'll start squaring this body up and getting it to where I want it to be permanently. All right, got this place cleaned up and just decided to take that back panel off that round piece that was over here. Um, it's like an interior panel. A lot of people will uh, leave that actually assembled on the back there. And then they will weld up to it and build like, if this was the back, they usually build up to it and build some sort of sheet metal platform and then hide a gas tank inside I've seen. But I'm going to take it off for now. It's held on by like two screws. And just have it open. That way I can at least get now to my hinges here and repair the hinges for the trunk lid. This one had broken. You can tell, uh, see this one here has like a, a dowel that's in it. 
this one, the dowel's gone. So uh, I'm gonna make a quick trip to my buddy's house who's got a ton of round stock, probably slide something in, weld it solid and refix the hinge for the trunk lid. So now we're gonna get this thing kind of squared up, measure a whole bunch, take a look at it from the front, measure, go uh, <clears throat> probably from quarter panels, door spots, you know what I mean? From side to side, get the distances the same. Same thing as far as the front of the the cowls to the end of the frame rails and, and such that way. The back's a little tough because the body's kind of bowed there. I mean, the trunk closes. We're not getting it perfect. These doors don't close perfect. Nothing about this car is perfect. I am leaving this, I decided. Hi, Dad. That was here when I got the car. So whoever had this thing before me, pay tribute to you. I'm leaving it. From my understanding, the guy that owned this before me, he's dead now, so... I think I might even name it after him, his nickname. Not sure yet, but it's a definitely a good, good possibility. Uh, lots of stupid stuff going on here. Like I said, get this all lined up, get some tabs bolted, kind of get it where it's going to be. Take all this interior panel off. Um, this is, I used to hold the trim in, I believe. It's like little nails. It's almost like, uh, let's see if I can find some. They're like little nails with little plastic, almost like push pins that held like the upholstery in. A lot like what we have today that are plastic, you know, stupid things that you always use a flathead with that you're not supposed to. You're supposed to use a two-prong, pop them, and pull them out. A lot similar to that. Um, still have some old OG glass in here, which I don't want to be like that movie ghost and cut myself, so make sure I get that taken care of. But the more and more I'm thinking about it, yes, I do like these door lashes, but I did find these ones. They're on Amazon, and they're made for, like, tractors. I think they're actually made for like bobcats, but they have a left and a right, and then it actually has a handle. So, I was thinking, since my factory ones are pretty much trash, they're seized, I guess you can rebuild them, but I'm not spending the money on the rebuild kits or buying new ones. Maybe I'll see if I can make those work. I might be able to actually put them in the original spot, maybe cut that out and plate it and weld in, tack in some stuff and get some actual door handles, or maybe I'll just leave that. That just saying is thinking like if I was to actually put windows in here. In case I got caught in the rain and I actually had a roof, but I'm probably, uh, probably not going to. I might, I might not. I don't know. My mind's all over the place, but let's keep picking away. From here to the inside of here, I got eight and a quarter. On that side, from the inside of the pit, the weld, the pinch here to the, the inside of the frame, eight and a quarter. From the inside of here with a square on it to this edge here, I got ten and five eighths. And I have the same thing on that side as well. This body is definitely tweaked. I mean, I didn't square it up completely when I moved it. It came on a trailer. I don't know how it was stored over the last whatever hundred years, but I think it looks pretty damn straight. So what I'm gonna do for now is, actually I'm gonna go take a nap, it's quarter seven, but I'm not gonna touch it. I made this, uh, this little arm there, I don't know if I showed that already, but I'll be able to weld to make my shifter. But we're gonna leave the body here for now. Tomorrow when I get out of work, I'm gonna throw four brackets up with some adjustment, quarter inch or so, side to side. And then I'm gonna drill some holes with some self-tappers, get it where it needs to go so it like looks and kind of self-tap it with four bolts or four screws to hold the body in place. Since I am not like Trav and Trav builds, and I do everything by, eh, fuck it, nail it, looks good, weld it. <laughs> Put the 51 outside, I get the body kind of self-tap screwed on those mounts in place before I drill permanent holes and bolt it. Wheel this thing outside and look at it. Like, look at it from afar, see what it looks like. Or at least get it where the 51 is here. So I can take a step back over here and actually just get a long view of it. See if it looks like it's dog tracking down the road, which I mean, if it is, I really have fucking care. Um, we're gonna have fun with it either way. So for tonight, we're gonna call it quits. Get four, at least four mounts welded in tomorrow. We'll check back then. We're back out here. We got these mounts. I completely went a different way with them. I actually just did the 90s to the frame and I'm just going to bolt them straight down. I might run a gusset to strengthen it up, but I mean, there's one. I ran these ones inside for the sole purpose of the radius rods are on the outside. 
the same thing. I got the suspension on the outside there, so I don't want to interfere with any of it, but that should be fine. Uh, I did these ones on the outside just because I don't know where my floorboard's going to run, but whatever. I'm just going to drill straight through and run a bolt straight down, and then whenever I put the floor down, I'll just make a bigger hole to go down over the bolts. That way the body comes up and out. Whatever. Uh, I changed my mind on how I was going to do it. Yeah, Rob, who, who fucking cares, right? So we're going to keep moving with this. I'm going to get these drilled out, get some holes in there, get some bolts in, and kind of get the, the body bolted down temporarily. And then we're going to start doing some work where I'm probably going to start cutting some box tubing here and kind of laying out where the floor is going to go and tube that, get that all that floor section there tubed. I'm waiting on my clutch assembly pedal to get here, my steering to get here. I have not purchased the brake kit yet. Uh, this That one's the one like I'm... The most confused about i don't know i did a floor mount forward mount um clutch pedal so roughly the pedal is probably going to be right around here and then the master cylinder for the clutch will be up here which the cable literally will go right into there as far as the brakes i'm not sure how i'm going to do it yet i might do it where i'm going to have lake pipes so i might actually just get those really skinny floor masters and then it might just be like right here. I don't know. The master will be here and the floor pedal will be here and then the gas will be here. I'm gonna try to get them in a line so they all match with the clutch brake and gas, obviously. If the clutch is a little bit different, that's not a big deal to me. I mean, if my foot's back a little bit an inch or two, that's fine. As long as my brake and gas are close to each other because obviously stopping is very important. <laughs> but also, they have the 90 degree power masters which are power assisted, right? Brake boosters. They have a 90 degree one that essentially would go up in here. The pedal would come down, you push it, it swivels and then pushes a 90 and there's a brake master and a, a booster and a brake master. It's like 20 inches wide, so it'll roughly put the brakes master cylinder over here. If I did it without the booster, I probably could get it to where I could fill the brakes through this here, which is probably not a bad idea. but. There's that option, and then there's the floor mount brake with two masters that Willwood makes, or you can convert it to a single um, tandem style master cylinder, which is what I might do, but it roughly put it like right here. So I'm not sure how I'm going to run it yet, um, but we're making progress. The only thing I got left to figure out is the brakes, but cross that bridge when we get to it and keep going on getting these drilled out and get the body kind of bolted half ass down so I can get forward on building the rest of this. So let's keep flipping away. These drill bits are dull as hell. Alright, so the body is mounted. I kind of got this door a little bit better. A little bit. Kind of closes better now, somewhat. The passenger one, man, it's like messed up. But I'm definitely going to have to get some sort of adjustment on here. Either add some metal to that so this really closes tight. Because this is just going to rattle around as I'm driving. Ground this little thing off. I think this is gonna be enough. It was actually the old hood latch. I think this is gonna be enough to do timing. Um, I mean, it will rotate and bend, but I still think I might cut this all out and flip it. Not sure yet exactly. I mean, I might actually do that and then do an internal firewall because who knows, maybe I'll be putting a brake master cylinder up there. I haven't figured out the brakes yet. I have not figured out the brakes yet. But we're making leeway. Uh, I got my steering coming. I ordered a reverse Corvair steering box. That should be here, I think, tomorrow. I purchased a four inch mount for it. I'm not sure 
exactly where it's gonna go yet. Like that. And then the Corvair box bolts to it, I believe. Um, and then the steering goes out the back. But I was also thinking that might be depending on how the box mounts in this pinion arm, this uh, pitman arm here. It's a seven inch drop or six inch drop pitman arm offset. So it's meant to go on. You want your steering rod roughly the same angle as your radius rods. That way when the steering rod goes up, it travels the same angle as this so it doesn't cause bump steer. If it goes against it, every time this goes up, it's gonna cause the steering to move and cause your front end to be wobbly, which is scary. Now this came in the other day. It's a straight, so a straight mount. So essentially I got to grab a, a bolt for that. This will bolt in here, like so. A heim joint will go there with a 5 8 bolt. And then I'll have a rod that runs straight to the steering, which, I mean, that rod's probably going to be roughly this high if I run it on top. This is probably going to be somewhere around there. It's probably going to be pretty close. I might have to cut this and adjust it height-wise to figure out um, how I'm going to run it. But at the same time, the way that this thing works, man, and the way that this is looking, it's kind of wondering. And now I'm like changing everything. Because like I said, I ordered my brake pedal, but if I put that thing like right in there, essentially, I think it goes like that. I don't think it goes like that. I don't know, I gotta see which when the box comes in how it goes. But I'm assuming it goes like that. It's not somehow. Hopefully it goes like that. Um because if it's like that in the front here, the steering box will essentially be right there. And I can run the column right where the factory location was. The factory location was in a little bit, probably because you had your bench seat. And you kind of sat over a little bit and your pedals were more centered on, not centered, but they were definitely more towards the center of the car. And this was definitely towards the center more, but I kind of want to have it over more because I want the wheel over more because there's not much room in here. Um, if that sits like that, which I hope it does, I don't know, I can't remember which way the, the bolts go on it, but it's like straight line for steering col column, which will go right here. But I would really wish I could mount it inside because then I'd have my typical cowl steering, which would be pretty sick if that came out, right? I don't know. We'll see. Let's get that box here first, and uh, we'll go from there. I might, who knows? I might not even use that. I might be cutting that up, or I might make my own. We will see. We will see. So that's it for now. I'm going to cut this video off there. I didn't get a ton done. Kind of mounts and making fun of Trav. But uh, once the steering box gets here and some brake parts and some clutch parts... Essentially, start making the floor, order some bucket seats, get a clutch kit, and then put my small block back together. And start going on making the floors and making the interior and where I'm going to sit and everything like that. Get a tank, some wiring. I don't know, a couple more months hopefully. But uh, I have some work to do on the 51 coming up. I don't know if you guys remember, if you're new here, go back to the videos. Interior on this thing is like non-existent really. This is pretty much how the interior was when I got the car. This seat is absolutely trash. Uh, as you can see, like it's deteriorating. You can see the foam down there. This is definitely an older restoration on these seats. These aren't the original seats obviously, but this was probably done in the 90s, maybe the 80s. So I'm gonna go take this this week to Martin's Upholstery. It's close to me and I wanna have him take a peek at the seats front and back. See what he's gonna get. I don't wanna do anything crazy. Maybe just like some black cloth or something like that. I'm not really picky when it comes to interior. I like cloth, I don't like leather. Just because, especially in a hot, hot day, I don't really feel like having my ass stick to the pleather or the leather. But I do have the door panels for here. They're in a box right there. And I do have the back panels. 
as well as I have the moldings for around the windows. With that being said, I'm thinking about possibly putting some weather stripping back in this car, as well as converting the wipers on this. They have an electric kit, gets rid of the vacuum on the wipers and get some new wipers. That way they actually function if I do get caught in the rain, because right now it's terrible. Get that set up and then maybe do a half-ass carpet Actually, just get a carpet kit to like 150 bucks, And then for the panels here, maybe I'll just have one of my buddies bend me up some aluminum. As far as a headliner, we'll talk about that afterwards. And I do have some ideas that I want to do to this because I want to get it ready for this year. As far as driving it, it still runs and drives. We're going to keep rocking the 327, even though I figured out, or I had that leak in the, not figured out, but I had that leak in the, freeze plug and put the rubber doorman one in there and it seems to be holding so we're going to keep rocking it with that for a while but i do have a plan for this it's going to take me a while to get to it hopefully that'll be next year's winter project for this car but uh this car is going to be pretty rowdy if i go through it with what i have planned but we're not going to tease you or nothing like that we're going to talk about it but that's going to be it for this episode uh hopefully get some steering parts and it'll get a little bit farther on next time and uh, like comment subscribe share the channel let me know what you think. Thank you. See ya.